All right, you hear those carnival sounds, so that can only mean one thing. It is time to welcome back the Georgia National Fair. Can you tell we're excited? The 32nd annual event kicks off today after missing year 31 because of the pandemic. But it is safe to say the excitement is very real. We are continuing coverage this morning as our very own Wanye Reese is live from the fairgrounds with everything we need to know this morning. Parking, ticket prices, entertainment. Wanye, what do people need to know? Yes, Caitlin, I'm going to go ahead and break it all down for you, but the excitement is real. Despite the gates not opening until 3 this afternoon, there's still a lot of activity that is out here. Now, earlier in the show, we introduced you to one of the vendors, affectionately known as Mama Jane, and they're all here. They're ready for this big day. We all know what 2020 held as far as COVID-19 and how it impacted their business, but we're super excited for them and pumped in. Might have a little bit surprise for you a little bit later on in the show, but let's go ahead and get to the details that you care about the most. Now, parking won't cost you anything, but there are some rules you'll need to follow. General public parking and gate entrance will not be available at the Southgate lot. You will be able to park and enter through the west, north, and east parking lots and gates, though. Although the fair will not allow traffic to enter the fairgrounds after 8.30 p.m. each night. So that'll be 8.30 p.m. each night. You will not be able to come here to the fair. But if you're already at the site, you will be able to buy a ticket and go ahead and enter. Now, it's time to get into the fair. And for that, you will definitely need some money in order to get in. So let's go ahead and take a look at some general admission prices and which it's going to cost you to get inside. The fair runs through October the 17th. And if you don't go on a discounted day, this is what you can expect to pay. For people 11 to 59, it's going to cost you 15 bucks to go ahead and get in those 60 and up. It's only $10 for you to get in and kids hit and under you get in for my favorite price. The free 99. I wonder if I could like look like a 10 year old possibly so I can, <laughs> so I can get in for free. But no, I'll go ahead and pay. I'm just joshing now. But good news today is one of the discounted days. So those 11 and up all pay the same price. That's $10. Here's the other days you may pay less. Monday is patriotic day. I absolutely love that military and immediate family members you get in for free on Tuesday. Those 11 and up all pay the same price. That's $10. Same for Wednesday. Now next Thursday, college students, it is your day. If you have a valid college ID, you only pay $10 to get in and all my college students out there. I know sometimes we struggle a little bit, so take advantage of that day for sure. But what about the rides that all costs you money as well? So armband days are probably music to your ears if you enjoy riding those rides and there will be plenty of them this year. The fairground says they will be available today and tomorrow and Monday through Friday next week for $25 on the last day, the 17th, you can get one for five bucks more. So that's going to run you about $30 there. But parking and ticket prices aren't the only thing that you need to know about before you go ahead and come out here to the fair. Before you go around 645 AM, our morning reporter Taylor Hicks, she is going to join us live to break down additional information that you need to know about before you go ahead and come out here to the fairgrounds now. Once you're paid and you've gotten in the gate, the rides and the food aren't the only things you'll see at the fair. There's also plenty of entertainment. They got some music. Let me, uh, uh, uh. So you'll be jamming and you'll be rocking out here. That includes free concerts at the Georgia National Stage. Here's a few you can check out. Today you can check out Gary Puckett and Union Gap. Saturday, you can take it easy with the Eagles tribute band. Hotel California. I'm sorry. I just had to say it all nice and smooth like that. Now next Wednesday will be easy like a Sunday morning when the Commodores take the stage and next Thursday the fair will heat up when 98 degrees performs. These are just some of the performers concerts will happen on each night that the fair is going. But if concerts aren't your thing, how about magic this year? Mike Fuller, I like to call him Magic Mike, but he's known as Mike the Magician marks 30 years of performing here at the Georgia National Fair. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. But you might be wondering, how did Mike get started doing magic? Now, I got the chance to speak with him earlier this week, and we had a very nice conversation about what led him to his passion. Now, at the age of seven, Mike says it was either taking piano lessons with his sister or doing magic. He went ahead and he picked magic. He says shows like the magical land of Alakazam, that was definitely before my time, library books and a local trick shop in Macon also inspired him. Mike told me that magic helped him pay his bills and he even appeared on 13 WMAZ back in the day hosting the Magic Club. 
Six decades after his start, Mike says his passion has not disappeared and he is looking forward to the Georgia National Fair. And some, uh, you know, a lot of the, the, the same things that I've always done. Some of the, I like to call them crowd favorites, but I'll also be doing some new things, uh, a little different um, here again, because I'll be doing a lot of stuff that will not use people from the audience. Now, Mike will open the curtain, weather permitting this evening at 6 and 8 p.m.